同学们好。Alright, today's video is going to be on our unit Ni Hao Four, Lesson One, about school topics. 开学真好。Alright, our first grammar structure in schools great key structure number one is tai and yo. Tai, yo. Now we've had these before in separate situations. Tai most cases would mean just, and yo has several meanings. First meaning where you would have learnt it before is in the future tense again, and also another meaning for it is when yo is repeated when we're using more than one adjective. But here, tai and yo, just again, <clears throat> expresses close occurrence of two events. For example. 他昨天才迟到，今天又迟到了。So the two actions have to be similar or the same, and the difference is the time phrase here. 他昨天 yesterday he 才迟到 was again or just late. 今天又迟到了 ，and today he was late again. 他昨天才迟到，今天又迟到了。Uh, the next structure for this video is going to be bar. The bar structure literally means to hold or to take. It introduces an object ahead of a verb to indicate how the object is dealt with. <coughs> If we first look at the non-bar structure, most Chinese simple sentences are subject, verb, and then the object. For example, 他做好作业了。他 is the subject. He 做好 the verb, and we know that 好 here. Is the、uh, verb ending for to do something well or to finish it? And 作业 is homework. 他做好啊 ，sorry， 他做好作业了。Now, when we change this same sentence or this sentence into、uh, and using the bar structure, it has the same components, but we add in bar. And you notice here the verb object in the simple sentence with the non-bar follows the subject. Here we've got subject first, immediately followed by bar, and this is the head of the object we're talking about.、Right, so here is the object, here is bar, and then the verb. So it's different to the non-bar structure.、Right, so it's subject, bar, object, verb in the bar sentence. Ta. 把作业做好了。他把作业做好了。All right. So when you're learning the bar structure, try and remember that in the non-bar structure, right, it's subject, the verb, object. All right. So practice it with the non-bar structure first, and then convert your non-bar structure、uh, into using the following this pattern. Subject, bar, object, verb. All right, that's it for today's lesson, and we're going to continue on with further sentence structures next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.